shook him walking through that door. And then one faithful morning, as she made her usual entrance, I could tell that she was nervous and that she had something to say. So I smoothly flipped the leather to prepare her double latte, and she told me her name's Carol, and I came back with hey, and I told her my name's Taylor, and here's a little extra bone. When she left, I cleaned her table.
doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. No one knows how hard I tried. Oh, I, I have feelings that I can't explain. Driving me insane. All my life been so polite. Cause I was dead. Anywhere outside being a tank. Is it my destiny?
Kings High School, half of them here and half of them not here. And I want you right now for, to think for a second, all of you who are in the room. Uh, most of you have been involved at some point in an activity, a club, a team, something, especially in high school. That's when you started exploring, that's when you started um, branching out, looking at other interests. High school was that place. And now I want you to imagine what that would have been like. Picture the one that was the most meaningful to you. What might that have been like for you if instead of experiencing in the room with people or on the field or on the court or wherever with humans, would you have had the same experience? The class of 2024, some of them did, some of them didn't. And as a result, if you ask any choir, band, orchestra, fine arts director, anywhere in education, whether it's secondary, whether it's collegiate, this class is the ripple through. We noticed it last year when we all had our juniors, and our juniors made up a very small percentage of our programs. And so this is a big celebration because the students that are going to stand up and sing tonight are the ones who fought the hardest to hold on. They came into choir all by themselves behind a screen and they stuck around. At least the three of them that are about to take the stage with an add-on. Another senior. We have two band kids sitting here who also stuck out marching band for the entire four years and they are amongst four seniors who did that in their program. So we are going to have a middle of the program senior celebration this year. That's just the way it worked out. And the very first senior that we're going to invite out to the stage, you may remember seeing her last year with her lovely sister Paige, who also graduated. Here she comes, Miss Cora Dwyer. <laughs> So 
Our next senior, Jory. Come on. Jory has a friend. Introduce them. While we rearrange things a little bit, uh, this is Kurt. He's going to be my emotional support uh, capybara because I've never done this before. Emotional support what? Capybara. Oh. And we have brought with Shory um, our kidnapped band kid, Dominic Danilli, also graduating. <laughs> Not playing drums. <laughs> the, for the record, the program said Dominic Danilli on drums until you practiced in my room on guitar. That was confusing for me. And um, apparently a ranger said comments.
Good job, Jack. I'll be right back.
continuing behind me. I want to say just a quick word about the, do we actually have 10? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and my kid, hopefully <laughs> fixing the walls in the back. 10. To continue the story from earlier, we have 10 this year, chamber choir members who were ready um, for this level of music and this level of challenge and this level of, quite frankly, involvement. Um, who went to sing at the ribbon cutting for Mercy Health, who, um, gosh, where all have we gone? Um, we sang with the Aeolians of Oakwood University. Um, the vast majority of them went to Nashville with us. Uh, what else did you do? There's been so much, I can't even remember it. What? Oh yeah, we sang with our, our next dynasty, J.F. Burns, at their multicultural festival. Um, this is the group that is called upon to answer the call when the community asks. And what's, what's unique about them isn't that there's 10 of them. It's that they consistently sing music that they shouldn't be singing. Um, they, you know, we started working on switching around parts and, and letting them sing whatever they wanted to as long as the music was happy and whatever voice part that meant. Uh, so raise your hand if you've sung soprano. Raise your hand if you've sung alto. Put your hand up, Dominic. <laughs> he goes, yeah, that was me. Put your hand up if you've sung tenor. Put your hand up if you've sung bass. Okay, so the vast majority of them have sung at least three voice parts this year. I can never remember where they stand. For this concert, I don't even think they're sure. <laughs> so just bear with them. But that, a part of that is because um, one of the most frustrating things about the end of a school year in the arts is that everybody wants to do everything in May. And for whatever reason, we've stopped going to school for very long in May, which everybody's excited about except for the music people. Because we can't fit everything into this shared space with, with everyone who wants to do everything. We do make it work, though. <laughs> But what I'm getting at is, it's in the middle of AP tests, it's in the middle of KFC, it's in the middle of all kinds of things that pull them from rehearsals. And so I actually, they were kind of sassy with me because they were singing a 10 part song at one point. And so I said, fine, here's Jacob Collier's World Oh World. It has 13 parts, figure that one out. And they kind of did. <laughs> the problem is it got so difficult that we ran out of time. And so, you know, we just lovingly put that child to rest and said, well, maybe another group will do that someday. But that being said, throughout the very few weeks we've had, they have grasped maybe half of the 27,000 pieces of music I let them read, dove in, and tonight you're going to hear them do some very, very interesting and unexpected, even to their director, things. I'll bang the drum and hope we make it. Uh, the first song that we sing, you'll also hear them sing in the gigantic Centos Center at graduation next Sunday.
place. If you're here, would you please come on up to the stage? Oh. Okay. Uh, it is the time of the evening where we get to uh, do a quick recognition and celebration of our seniors. As Ms. Milfaller talked about earlier, um, this year's senior class is a little bit smaller, but they have stuck through a lot to get to where they are now. Um, we actually have some uh, seniors with us this year who are celebrating their very first year singing in choir, so it's not too late, ever. My people out there who aren't singing yet, but are high school students, and should be up here with us. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Even parents. Yeah, even parents, sure. Come on down to the day. Uh, all right, so those uh, three students that are receiving their first year recognition, which is their varsity letter K, for those letter jackets that are going to come back sometime, uh, Mr. Dominic Dinelli. Mr. Tyler Mitchell. And also celebrating your first year, Mr. Amir Mohana. Team. 
<laughs> she was so close. Here's the deal. We knew that we needed to inspire something within them that would be missing from being together. That gratitude, the resilience, the initiative, and the team is just all the way through these three. All the way through. Um, you see their leadership throughout everything that happened tonight. You see, you see their leadership in the fact that one of them is in two of the choirs. Their leadership, they always keep me um, on track. And also just the fact that, I'll be honest with you, I see a difference in their gratitude, their grace, their patience. I see a difference in these three, specifically in the choir room. And so because of that, this year, um, we decided, Mr. Hayward and I, that we would not uh, have a student vote. We decided that there was only one way to um, honor the four-year seniors who stuck it out all the way through the computer until now. And so this year, all three of you are recipients of the National School Choral Award along with the Adamson and Mason Scholarships. Congratulations. Seniors, you ready? 